hello viewers welcome so today we are going to learn how to drive an automatic transmission car so before we start how to drive or i teach you how to drive we look at the gear that i have with my car so this gear we have the r which is the reverse but let's start from the p the p is for parking the R is for reverse, the N is for neutral, the D is for the drive, and then you can put to the number 2 and then the number 1 GS. But for a starter, you can manage with the P, R, N, and then the D. So you start with these four keys or these four GS. So this is the GIA handle. Then we have the uh, regulators for the air conditions. But you won't need that now. And this will be your steering wheel, which you'll be using for driving. And this is where you have your horn. When there is an obstacle on the way and you want the obstacle to leave, you press the side. And then we go down to where we have the brake and then the accelerator. This pedal here is for the brake. And then this pedal here is for the accelerator. So you take note. This particular pedal, the big one, is for the brake. And then this smaller one here, this particular smaller one, is the accelerator. So what you have to do is, you put this leg of yours here at this side. You don't have to use both legs whilst driving. For the automatic transmission car, you need only one leg. It will be a mistake to put both legs like this on it. You don't have to do this. You have to put one here. So anytime you want to brake, Anytime you want to use the brake, then you bring your leg onto the brake. And then anytime you want to accelerate, then you take your leg onto the accelerator. Okay, so with that understood, let's get to where we start the car. Try as much as possible to have the gear in the parking mode, like this, before you start the car. So, before you start the car, you put your leg on the brake and then you start the car so let's try and see okay so as i said we are going to start the car and then we start moving if you could remember i told you your left leg is supposed to be on the resting part over here so that is where my, my leg is. This is where my leg is. So my leg will just be here. And then my right leg will then be on the brake whilst I spark the car. So my right leg will be here. So I'm starting the car right now. So I've now started the car and this is a handbrake. When the handbrake is up, it means it is in use. So what you do is you release the handbrake by sending it down. When you send it down, it means you have taken it out of use. And then you come to the gear. The GI is on the P, which is the parking. So you bring it to the D, which is the drive. So our GI is in the drive mode. And all I have to do now is to release my leg from the brake. And then I put it on the accelerator. So this is my leg. 
as soon as I released it, the car started moving. So I will take it off the brake and then bring it to the small pedal. So just watch. We also have the trafigator. You have to put your trafigator on. This is the trafigator. When you put it down, it shows on the dashboard to the left. And then when you move it up like this, it shows on the dashboard to the right. So there is a right arrow and then a left arrow. So right now I am moving into the left direction of the road. So my trafigator has to go down like this. So as you can see, there is an arrow of a blink on my dashboard. Yes. Now you can see it clearly. So as soon as I move it up, it goes this way. But as I said, I'm going left. So just watch whilst I start moving the car. So I've just released my leg. And I'm pressing gradually on the accelerator. I'm entering the main road and I want to branch left. So you can see a big car coming from my left side. So I'll wait for it to pass, then I'll show my trafigator to the left. Another motorbike is coming. I'll wait for that one too. So I now move. The way is now clear. So I'm still moving. Just remain calm, wear your seat belt, and then keep driving. After learning how to drive, you, you have to learn how to have courage. So, this is how you drive gradually. Then there is some, a car coming. I have to slow down and see where it is going. So I have to just pass by it. I want to move right, so I'll start showing my navigator to the right side. So, I'm moving right, right now. After you've moved to the right section, you just have to put the trafigator off. You don't just have to leave it on. So that is how you drive. You need courage. And then you need patience. You need a lot of courage. Because after learning how to drive, if you don't have courage, you still cannot drive. Then this is your horn. In case of any obstacle in your way and you want the obstacle to move, press the side for the obstacle to move then you press on the accelerator with your right leg as i said your right leg goes left and right always you don't have to use your left leg especially when you are using this automatic transmission car so i'm entering into another main road i'm branching left so i'll use the trafigator again. So I'll turn left like this. And then I'll just keep driving. So this is how to move an automatic transmission car. Very easy. Very, very, very easy. Okay, so now we've learned how to drive an automatic transmission car. I now want to park the car. What first of all you do is to push the gear button or the gear from the D to the N. That is from the drive to the neutral. Then you raise the handbrake. As soon as you raise the handbrake, it means you have used the handbrake or the handbrake is in use. So the brake is raised. And then you push the gear then from the neutral to the parking mode so when you push it into the parking mode now you can release your leg from the brake so when you put your leg off the brake then if you have some glasses to roll then you roll before you turn off the engine so you let your key here then you turn off 
so we've learned how to drive an automatic transmission car in our next video we will learn something else so just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet thanks for watching